Hello, this is Mark from the Photomatics team. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up automatic exposure bracketing on a Sony Alpha 7 C2. This will let you take three or more photographs, each at a different exposure, when you press the shutter button, so that you can then merge the photos to HDR. Switch the camera on and locate the mode dial, which is on the top right of the camera. Make sure the lower dial is set to the photo camera icon. If it isn't, turn the lever counterclockwise until it is. Rotate the mode dial so that M, for manual, lines up with the white marker. Turn to the rear side of the camera. On the lower right side is the control wheel. It has four directional keys and a center button. Press the key next to the drive mode icon on the left. This will open the drive mode menu. The setting that you see highlighted may be different from the one shown here. To quickly change a setting in this menu, continue to use the directional keys. Press the down key four times. until BRKCONT is showing, which stands for Continuous Bracketing. Then, press the right direction key twice until Number of Shots is highlighted. Push the Up key to increase the number of shots to take, or the Down key to decrease it. The camera can shoot up to nine images in one bracket. I'll keep it at the default of three images. Press the left key once to highlight the exposure value. Set it by pressing the up key until it shows 2.0 EV. What you've chosen is to take three images, two exposure values apart. One photo, two EV underexposed, one photo at normal exposure, and one photo, two EV overexposed. Press the center button on the control wheel to save the settings and return to the shooting screen. You have now activated automatic exposure bracketing on your Sony Alpha 7C2. All you need to do now is to keep the camera still. Press and hold down the shutter button until all of the photos are taken. Once you've taken the bracketed photos, you can merge them to HDR in Photomatix. Watch this video next to learn more about doing that. You can download Photomatix Pro with the button to the right or in the video's description. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below.